Hello. Hello. Hi, Cole. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good evening, everybody. Thank how are you, you today? Uh, just let me move a little bit. I guess the light is kind of... I will move it the other way around. Let's see. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> the light was uh, making interference over there. So how are you tonight? Are you ready? <coughs> okay, good, Sylvia. Good, excellent. Don't, don't, uh, Julia, you got a little cough. Yeah, you. Yeah, you have a, you have cough. Ah, uh, yes. That, uh, yeah. Come uh, on. Uh, you're coughing. Yes. <coughs> that's, that's coughing. That's coughing. Yes. Bye. So thank you very much for being here. So we are almost ready. How many people do we have? Uh, we have 12. Okay. So 12 with me. So let's wait for another people. In uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, um, we're going to make a review of the, of the next topic. Okay. So vamos a hacer un repaso de la siguiente tema de la siguiente semana para que ustedes puedan trabajar en la, en la plataforma. Ya les hice algunos ejercicios extra para que ustedes los trabajen antes de trabajar el siguiente tema en la plataforma que debe estar lista el lunes, ¿ok? Es tarea de todos. En, muchísimas gracias por su confianza en nuestro trabajo, en nuestra, nuestro quehacer de enseñanza de un en segundo idioma y les invito y les motivo a continuar, ¿ok? Okay, so, uh, uh, buenas noches durante esta clase. Okay, thank you, Luis, thank you, but you're there. So, uh, well, I'll let you know, I'll let you know, uh, uh, no. hi, Glenda, how are you? Anna hi. Gabriela, how are you? Elsa Cecilia, I see you. Good evening, how was the traffic? Um, oh, <laughs> you're lucky you, lucky you. You're still at my school. I'm still at my school, but uh, we're ready to work though. That That's important thing because yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to move uh, to risk not to get at home early. So I said, I said to myself, so the students will not miss the class. Okay. So we're almost uh, everybody. So. What was the topic that we were talking, guys? Coach. What was the topic that we were talking yesterday? Uh, we we talked we talk, uh, the irregular verbs. Ah, we talk at the irregular verbs, exactly. So we are talking about past activities, things that we do then the, we did, I'm sorry, it's not we do, we did in the past, Okay, and it's gone and it's finished. Okay, so uh, for example, last uh, month I went to Chalatenango, I visited my relatives over there, I drove my car, and we stopped by uh, in a small restaurant, we ate something, and we drank something. So, that, of course. Uh, so that was uh, talking about the simple past, uh, past activities. Irregular verbs, what else? What other types of verbs were we studying? Uh huh. What it, we, what it, we studied uh, eat, feel, read, write. Ah, okay. Irregular verbs. We were studying irregular verbs plus. Um, regular verbs. Good. So today is our 11th class. It's our uh, class number 11. Uh, it's, uh, what day is today, Glenda? 
What day is today? Uh, ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Sylvia. Get something for us also. Okay. Uh huh. What day is today, Glenda? Maybe she cannot hear. Uh, Elsa. Uh -huh. What what day is today, Elsa? Hello. Hello. What day is Wednesday? Ah, today is Wednesday. November. November fifteenth in twenty twenty three. And November fifteenth, two thousand twenty three. You can say twenty twenty three. Okay. Remember that this week and this we this is what the minimum. Okay. By Monday we need the platform full. I will help you to do that. Okay. I voy a ayudarles. Okay, so and also we're talking. We were talking about certain adjectives when we express emotions. What are adjectives do we use? For example, today the traffic is amazing, man. So it's amazing the traffic because it's uh, traffic everywhere. So what adjectives do we use? Amazing. Uh huh. When we express uh, strong emotions, what others? Great. Uh huh. But uh, use the ing. Amazing. What other adjectives do we use? Let me see. Uh huh. We use adjectives like, for example, we say, that's amazing. Today, the traffic is amazing. It's annoying also. What others, other uh, adjectives do we use when we express strong emotions? Let's use Kamanga. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Express it, Okay, thank uh, you. Confused. Okay, so, but I remember that we say amazing, annoying. The traffic is annoying today. Okay, we say confusing, we say disgusting, ah, unembarrassing. So, so, unexcited. We're about to get on the weekend and exciting. Okay, so those are strong adjectives. Uh -huh. Please do not be very quiet. Okay, so remember that. Okay, proverbs. Do you know any proverbs in English or in, Spanish, in English? Do you know any proverbs in English? Uh huh. Does anybody know? What about in Spanish? Do you know any proverbs, proverbs or old sayings? In yeah. Spanish, do we have proverbs in El Salvador? What about oscuridad de tu casa, candil de la calle, candil de tu, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> That is an uh, old saying in El Salvador, okay? Another one, do you know other one? Yes, well, uh, el que anda con lobo a odiar aprende. Ah, que anda con lobos a odiar aprende. Okay, those are proverbs, okay? Uh, we have, we will see some in Spanish, okay? But this class is not an Spanish class. So let's see, uh, Emily, help me with the learning, learning objective. Practice questioning the meaning. Meaning, the meaning. Meaning of some common proverbs in English. In English, okay. Here are some common proverbs. What do they mean? 
Okay, today I cannot, I will not risk to send you to the breakout rooms because I'm in my, uh, in my school and I'm working with the uh, internet from the cell. But uh, let's try to participate, okay? It does, uh, remember that I'm not evaluating you. I just, we're just talking and discussing. Okay, the first one, oops. The f number one, what is number one, Elsa Cecilia? A penny? A penny, David. Uh -huh. is a penny earning. Ah, okay. So, uh -huh. a penny saved is a penny earned. I want you to try to guess the meaning by saying, remember, it could mean, it perhaps means, Oh, perhaps it means, maybe it means, uh, what is another? It might means, okay. So what does a penny save is a penny earn? Volunteers. Uh-huh. Un centavo ahorrado es un centavo. Yeah. Yes, but in English, what it what it does what it does mean? Do you have any idea, Don Don Julio? <laughs> okay, try to think and no. uh -huh. someone else. Give me an idea. Just we're I'm not good at proverbs, eh? In fact, I am, I have uh, learned some of, of the proverbs over here. What it means? The the goal with this one is not to just to discuss the proverb. It's to use what we learned before. Perhaps it means maybe it means uh, it probably means uh, it might means. It must means, okay, that's the idea to use the words that we use first. Uh-huh. Yes, but what about in English? We need to use that could means, that might mean, uh, it perhaps it means, any idea? Someone else? No. Any idea? Nubia, any idea? Miriam, Christian, uh, Gabriela, any idea? Please try to guess. Mr. Lopez, it might mean that if I save money, I will have a, I will be rich, for example. Okay, just guessing. I'm not asking you for the right for the right definition. I will put it so not the kind of definition, but for you to see it. But we're not evaluating, we're just discussing. Uh-huh, Tatiana. Jacqueline. Adalberto. Any idea what it means as as a penny save is a penny earned. Penny is cent. It's a sense. It's a sense. Remember that in English. Se puede decir de ambas formas. Yeah, a sense. Uh -huh. Remember that in English we have a sense is one penny, a nickel, uh, five cents, a dime, ten cents, a quarter, twenty-five cents, a dollar bill, one dollar bill, and five dollar bill. Mm -hmm. A penny save is a penny earned. So what it will, what it means? Not asking for the correct uh, definition. Okay, maybe I will give you the first one. This is a type of definition, okay? So what it says, what it says? The money. Someone read it, please. The money you don't spend is el also also money you have saved. Uh -huh. that's a post that's possible meaning. 
The money that you don't spend is also money you have re uh, saved. Remember, remember, help me with the, help me with the, uh, with the noise, please, with microphones. Uh, okay. Remember that I said, Mr. Lopez, it must mean uh, if I don't spend my money, I'll be rich. Okay. So what about the, the second one? The second one is a little bit, is uh, a little bit, um, a little bit uh, harder. But uh, let's see, I stitch in time saves nine. Uh-huh. What it will mean? What it will mean? Emily, read the definition. Um, it's better. Just read the definition. It's better to deal, deal with a problem as soon as possible. Before it gets worse. Okay. So means a uh, stitch in time saves nine. So when you have a problem, it means deal with as soon as possible before it gets worse. It gets bad. Okay. So, uh huh. And what about the second one? Let's see. Uh, Nubia, read the second, the number three. Don't burn your bridges behind you. Don't burn your bridges behind you. You know the, the puente, right? Don't burn it behind you. What it means? What, what it most means? What probably means? What perhaps means? Any idea? Please give me ideas. No estoy pidiendo respuestas eh, correctas. We're just discussing. Uh huh. Don't burn, don't get on fire your bridges when you pass. Okay, that's another a kind of definition. So, uh, help me with microphones, please. Uh huh. Eh, comprendo que dice no hay mal que por bien no venga ok good that's it and what will be in English what will be in English Emily repeat please what will be in English that, that you say in Spanish on board your bags betching uh -huh. you Com como uh -huh. significado en inglés, me pide. Yes, yes, but you say uh, no hay mal. Uh, what, what, what was your the, um, your thing? No hay no no hay mal que por bien no venga or something like that. You say, and I ask, I was asking you to say that in English to try to say that in English. What was the word that you say in Spanish? Explicarlo en inglés se me hace un poco difícil. No, no, no. But uh, what, what do you say in Spanish? Let's try to help each other. What do you say in Spanish? No hay bien que por mal no venga or something like that? No hay mal que por bien no venga. Ah. And how do you say mal in English? Mal. Mal dal. Okay, bad. But uh, when you say mal, it means mal dal. So that will be evil. Uh huh. And, and good will be bien. So there is no bad without a reason of a good, more or less, okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay, we're not good at proverbs. Let me, so uh, let me see, uh, Nubia, read the definition of uh, don't burn your bridges behind you. Don't, don't do anything. Don't. Don't do anything you might. Might, feel yes. Sorry, feel sorry about later. About later. Okay. Don't do anything that you might feel sorry 
about later. So that's that's the that's the definition. So if I do something, for example, I'm going to say something. I make a joke to one of my colleagues today, and after I feel bad <laughs> because of the joke that I make. So in that case, I burn my bridge behind me. <laughs> okay. And after I feel not so good. It was a joke, but uh I feel not so I felt not so good. Okay, what is the next one? Uh, thank you, Nubia. Uh, Glenda, read uh, read the next one. Every every Glenda, just read. Yes, yes, Mister. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, every coal has a Cla silver cloud lining. Uh -huh. Every cloud has a has silver a lining. lining, a street lining. Okay, so because we, uh, and what is the meaning, uh, Tatiana? What is the meaning of that one? Good. Good can often come. Uh -huh. of, um, unpleasant. Unpleasant situations. Situation. So try to be optimist. Yeah, try to be optimistic. Okay. So good can often come out of unpleasant situations okay so so try to be optimistic okay after unpleasant situation always comes good okay and uh let's see abel let me know i think abel is one of them uh what is the next one one person's one person meet is another one Poison. Poison. Poison, yes. So one person's meat is another one's poison. Veneno, right? Like the snack. Okay, let's see the definition of it. Oh, it's too high. What is the definition of it? But one person loves, another person may hate. Yes, one person loves when my person hates. Like in Spanish, right? Eh, como dice, eh, lo que es basura para unos, para otros es un tesoro, right? Eh, something like that. Okay, so lo que es, yes, has happened to me. I, I don't want this one. This is trash. This is garbage. And I throw it and suddenly I saw the people pick it up and take it home. Okay, the last one, I don't know which one is it. I forgot to put it. Uh, let's see what is the, the last one. Uh, let me just check over here. Uh, let me put it animation, okay? And, um, okay, here you are. Okay, the last one is, what is the last one, uh, Marilyn? What is the last one? Uh, don't don't con your chicken before they hatch. They hatch. You know, you got an egg, and the and the chick, 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 chick and the egg open, and then the animalito comes. The the chick comes. So don't count your chickens before they hatch. Hatch every huevo. Cuando nace el animalito, they hatch. Birds, palomitas, de esas ala blancas, tortolitas, they hatch from the eggs. So this means, uh, let's see, uh, this means, okay, uh, something went wrong. Aha, uh -huh. what do they mean? Uh, let me. What's happening? Aha, uh -huh. what do they mean? Uh, 
Uh huh. Something happened over here. Let me just check. Okay, here we go. Uh, what do they mean though, uh, Miriam? Miriam Janet, read the definition. Be careful not to act as if something has already happened when it really hasn't happened yet. Okay, so that means Wait until happen. I don't start like what will happen? What will happen? No, let's wait that they happen. So these are some famous proverbs in English. There are many proverbs, but I choose the most common uh, proverbs, the most uh, use uh, common proverbs that people use. Okay. So and I want you to in Spanish. What is that? This one. <laughs> What is this one in Spanish? This is class is not Spanish, so vamos a hacer esto rápido. Okay? Está temblando, teacher. Ah, uh, really? Oh, no here. Okay. Uh, okay. What is the number one in Spanish? What is the number one in Spanish? Candil de la calle, oscuridad de la casa. Ah, and what does it mean? But the, <laughs> la calle un y en la casa. Uh, yeah, something something like that. So I will I look at it, it says a lamp in the, on the street, uh darkness in your house. Okay. A lamp on the street, because they ask for I put it in English, a lamp a lamp on the street, darkness in your house. So this means uh as a reference a aquellas personas que sacan habilidades y actitudes que no nacen dentro del hogar. And what is the other? Solo vamos a ver tres. And what is the other? El que oye consejos llega viejo. Eh, ¿Qué refiere esto? What does means? Let's use, even we are reading Spanish, but let's use English. What did this means? So, uh, the ones who listens advices, it will get older, more or less in English. The ones who listen advices will get older, more or less in English. And what will I, what does this mean in Spanish? Tell me in Spanish. Ajá, el que hace consejos llega viejo, yeah. Ajá, le tiene que escuchar a los consejos a larga vida a las personas. El último, porque no es Spanish this class, okay? Ajá. What, what is it? El que madruga, Dios le madruga, ayuda. Dios le ayuda. Are these uh, old sayings very popular in El Salvador? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are very popular. So there is another. Another is. <laughs> El que de ajeno se viste. En la calle lo de viste. En la calle lo de <laughs> Okay. <laughs> eh, de tal palo, tal astilla. Okay, these are very popular in, in, in Spanish also, okay? Uh, so let's continue with the class. This is, uh, this is not a Spanish class. But uh, aprendieron unos proverbios? Okay, I hope that you, uh, that you learn these proverbs in English and you look for others. They are very common, okay? So for example, uh, uh, an apple a day, there is a one very common in English. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So what does means? One apple, you eat one apple a day, it keeps the doctor away. What does means? Uh-huh. Take a wild guess. What do you think it means? Come on, maybe guys. That, maybe that it healthy food is is good for. Okay, food. healthy food <laughs> is good for uh, the people or for a person. Okay, Miriam. Someone else. Uh, 
Yes, Miriam. It means more or less like that one. So an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if you eat one apple a day, you will not likely get sick. So because you're eating healthy food. Okay. So now let's let's go back on the conversation and uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Senia Esmeralda, read the learning objective, please. What is the learning object? Uh, practice a conversation about sing, concepts of permission, uh -huh. mm -hmm. in, in context. Uh, mm -hmm. context. Yes, yeah, thank you, Senia. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Uh, signs that a uh, see concepts of permission, obligation and prohibition in context. What do you see on the pictures? What do you see on the pictures? Uh -huh. Tell me, Glenda. Uh, on, the, on the pictures, on the on these ones. Dos carros van. Ah, okay, two cars. Okay, van on the traffic, okay. So two cars, what color are the cars? Red. red. Okay, they are red. Mm. What do you notice of the yellow lights? Um, uh huh. Someone else? Yeah. Thank you, Glenda. Someone else? Okay. What do you notice on the lines? For example, on this line, on the first car ahead, where it says track. Yeah, double, yellow lines. And there is a, a double yellow line. Double Good. Yellow line. Yeah, excellent, Marvin. Excellent. Double yellow line. Marvin, in, and do you know what that line means? This is everywhere. Yes, but in English, I don't know how <laughs> okay. to say it. Okay. But it's a prohibition, and you are not allowed. Ten. Allow? Um, allow? <laughs> ah, you're not allowed to pass. Good. So that was a very good English. Okay, that that a double uh, double yellow light means that you're not allowed to pass. Someone else. Thank you, Marvin. Very good. Someone else. What about on the second car? What do you see over there? On the How yellow line. One pointing pointed yellow line and one okay. continue yellow line. Okay, one is continue and the other is cut it. It's in pieces. Yes, yeah. thank you, Marvin. Someone else. What do you think, someone? Uh, uh, what do you think, ladies or gentlemen? What do you think these lines means? The one is cut it and the other is continue. Okay, so let's see what the police officers, uh, the police officer want to say. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Jacqueline Lorena, could you read the learning objective, please? Oh, okay. Uh, practice a conversation. About? About, about sign C. Concept of permission, obligation, and provision in context. Ah, thank you, thank you, Emily. Ah, someone re already read the, the learning object. I forgot. So let's listen and read. Page 89, exercise 9. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm, what do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay, one more time. 
Page 89, Exercise 9. Conversation. Part A. Listen and practice. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. A volunteer in your own words. What's ha what is the discussion between Jackie and John about in your own words? Volunteer? Yes, teacher. Okay. What what is the the topic of the conversation uh, between Jackie and John? In your own words. Vicky. Uh huh. Do you know this highway are really great, but the red thing are very confused. Oh, it says John. What do these lines on the roll mean? They must. Uh -huh, they must. They must. Mean you are it. Al allow. Allow to pass here. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Uh, now, I wonder what that sign ahead means. It may mean your... your I may mean mm -hmm. to go to take a left in this line. Okay. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. So a volunteer in your own and your own words. What does what does the conversation about between they? It's about the road signs. Ah, it's about the road signs. Okay. What else? Someone else? Or yes, miss? What else can you say about it? They are discussing about the road signs. Yes. Uh-huh. What else? What's wrong with the car in front of them? What's wrong with the car in front of them? It's going too slow. It's going too slow. And what does John is going to do? Uh -huh. He passed this car in front ah, of Ah, he is. They, 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 yeah, he decided to pass the car in front of them. Okay, and what else? There is another issue that he is saying about the about the signs ahead, and he said, "Oh, may mean you got to take a left in this line lane." Oh, maybe it means you can turn a left. I'll just go straight. So what's what's uh, his decision? Did he turn left or what did he do? Uh-huh. Did he turn left or he went straight or he uh, go straight? He goes straight. He goes straight, even though he was on the line that says turn left. And he had to turn left, but he decided to go straight. So let's listen uh, between the officer, the police, and look at this. Uh, what does he said? Which sign is it? Okay. Is it the one on your left or the one on your right? Remember, on the left, on the right. Page 89, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they were driving on? Which sign is the police officer talking about? Um, have you noticed that police car behind us? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'd better pull over. 
May I see your driver's license, please? Sure, of course. Did I do something wrong, officer? Well, for one thing, you went over a double yellow line back there to pass a car. Oh. A double yellow line means no passing. You can only pass when there's a broken yellow line on your side. Oh. And another thing, you were in the left turn only lane, but you didn't turn. You went straight through the intersection instead. Oh, I guess I did, officer, but... Yes, you did. Don't you know that if there's a sign with an arrow pointing to the left, you have to turn left when you're in that lane? Oh, yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. My goodness, how did you ever pass your driving test and get a license? Gosh, I'm sorry, officer. <laughs> That remind me that was me in, uh, in San Francisco, California. <laughs> I was taking the driving uh, the driving test, and I stopped, and I I got the wrong line. I was in, uh, how do you say, in sentido contrario, <laughs> and the officer just looked at me and said, "Do you notice that you're in the wrong way?" And I said, "No, look." This is the wrong way. <laughs> so I had to take the driving, but I passed it on the second one. Okay, I'm sorry, I missed the instructions. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they, they were talking, driving on? Which sign is the police officer talking about? So the one on the left, on the one. So please decide and let me know. Page 89, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Which picture shows the highway they were driving on? Which sign is the police officer talking about? Um, have you noticed that police car behind us? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'd better pull over. May I see your driver's license, please? Sure, of course. Did I do something wrong, officer? Well, for one thing, you went over a double yellow line back there to pass a car. Oh. A double yellow line means no passing. You can only pass when there's a broken yellow line on your side. Oh. And another thing, you were in the left turn only lane, but you didn't turn. You went straight through the intersection instead. Oh, I guess I did, officer, but... Yes, you did. Don't you know that if there's a sign with an arrow pointing to the left, you have to turn left when you're in that lane? Oh, yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. My goodness, how did you ever pass your driving test and get a license? Gosh, I'm sorry, officer. So which uh, highway they were uh, driving? The one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the left. Okay, and which uh, high, uh, which sign is the police officer talking about? She said the one on the left. And which uh, sign is the police officer talking about? Uh-huh. So they were driving the one on the left, on the picture on the left, and the police officer is talking, huh? The picture? Of the left. Uh-uh, we have already on the left. Uh-huh, we have already on the left. Is the picture on there? On the hey, right. on the right, please uh, don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. So they they were driving the uh, on, on the highway on the left, but the police officer is saying you were on the on the on the one on on the left, so you had to turn left. So the police officer is talking on that one. So we're saying that uh, we are looking uh, for permission, obligation, and prohibition. 
Let's see what that means. Let's go on the grammar over there. Oh, I don't see the audio over here. Okay, well. No. Okay. Okay, so what is permission? What auxilia, how, how can we express permission? How can we express permission? Someone read it, you can't. You can't you turn. Can, you can't can turn left. Uh -huh. And the other is, you're allowed? And you are allowed to pass here. Okay, we use auxiliary helping verb can and be plus allowed to. We use this for, we use this for, we use those words can and allow to for. How do we use it for? Permission. For permission. For permission. Okay. You, you're allowed to talk to me. I am giving you permission. You can talk to me. Okay. I'm giving you permission. You can guess the meaning of the word. I'm giving you permission. Okay. Um, you can watch TV. Let's say to you are my kids. I say, you can watch TV. I am giving you permission. You're allowed to watch TV. You're allowed to see a good movie. So I'm expressing permission. The other says, you have to turn left here. You, you got to pass here. What do we use have to and uh, got to for? What do we use those words for? We use for obligation. For obligation. Janet, you had to wash the dishes. And I'm telling you something that you had to do it as obligation. You had to cook dinner. Ah, but Marvin, you had to cook dinner also. No, it's only woman. So I am expressing obligation. You had to talk to me during class. That's an obligation. Okay. You got to talk to me. You see, every time that we have to, I have to have a verb in the simple form. Okay, remember that to this is the infinitive in English. Use the simple form for it. To work, to try, to study. Ah, you had to finish the platform by Monday. That's an obligation. But Mr. Lopez también have to help you to do the platform. Is my obligation or not? It's only your obligation or both obligation? Whose obligation is it? It is both obligation. Both obligation. Me to help you and you to do it. I have yes. to I had to help my students to get good grade on platform. How? giving extra exercises, explaining a little bit what will be the next topic. And the students have to finish the platform by Monday. It's your obligation, you got to, okay? So can't in the negative way, can't, and look at this one, aren't bird to be plus allowed to. You aren't, you can't turn left here. You aren't allowed to pass the street line on red when it's in red. You're not allowed because you're going to have an accident. You can't pass the red line. Ah, but a permission, you can pass the green line. 
yellow line, what do we do when uh, the street light turns in yellow? What do we do? We hit the gas or we start stopping? Start stopping. Ah, when the street line shows the orange, no, the yellow line, how to stop. Or at least you have to drive slowly. Okay, so I use can't and allow to, aren't allowed to, for, to, to express, to express. Prohibition. Okay, to stay a prohibition. My kids, my son haven't done the homework. So I say, Jose Miguel, you're not allowed to watch TV today. So I am prohibiting them to do, watch TV because they haven't, they, you have to, so you aren't allowed, Jose Miguel, you aren't allowed to watch TV. You have to do your homework first. So I am expressing prohibition to him, and at the same time, I am expressing obligation. Okay? So you aren't allowed to watch TV. You have to do your homework first. So that's, uh, any questions about this one? Any questions about this one? Any doubt? No question. No Maybe question. I have, I have a study. <laughs> okay. Okay. But let me help you something. Let me help you a little bit more. Okay. We use permission. I like you. You all stay until the end of the class. Okay. How this is a let's suppose. Let's suppose that you're in classroom with me. Um, however, if you have something special to do and have to leave before class is over, please ask for permission to leave the class, okay? So you will say, Mr. Lopez, can I, can I leave the class before it ends? And I will say yes or no. So, and another obligation. Every student has an obligation. What is the student's obligation? What's the student's obligation? To do his or her homework. Uh, to do the, her homework. So that's your obligation. So, or you can say you had to do your homework. That's an obligation. Or you got to do. And provision? And prohibition, as you, as know, you know, there is the provision against smoking in class. Not in class, in public, yeah. not, not only yeah. class. So, so if I said for the one, uh, the first one, uh, you can, if you have something special uh, to do before class ends, you can leave the class before it's over. On the second one, uh, every student has an obligation to do. Every student have to do his or her homework. Prohibition. There, uh, you're not allowed, okay? You're not allowed to smoke in class or you can smoke in class. In fact, in El Salvador now, uh, you're not allowed to smoke even in public, okay? So those are the things over there. Now, this is, I think you got this one. Uh, you have this one on the document that I send it to you. That I send it to you. Uh, let me see. No. Oh, this is the one. Okay, we have still 10. So permission. What subjects do we use with Ken? 
Ajá. Uh -huh. It says, everybody. Ah, sorry, I'm not presenting. <laughs> I'm not presenting. I got a no, it's not this one. It's because I. Okay. So we use can, it says I, you, we, they can. What is the permission? Take a 15 minute break during each class. Uh -huh. Take a 15 minute break during this class. You can? Do homework in the campus coffee shop. And the coffee coffee shop, yes. And, uh, given permission Re look we use the verb to be plus a la plus a la out to or in the negative we use the verb to be plus not and allowed to so you say you're allowed to uh -huh, you're allowed to yes, Record it in class. I, I should uh, write it uh, nowadays. You are allowed to use a computer in class, okay? And uh, you are, uh, we are allowed to. We are allowed Mystery to. Mystery class. Classes. Is semester. Is semester. This is not applying to us, okay? These are just example of permission. So this is permission. Remember that with all of the subjects, uh, you, we, they, uh, she, uh, he, I uh, use can, okay? And with all of the subjects, use, he's allowed to use a computer in class. He, uh, she's allowed to miss three classes uh, during semester. So uh, the time is about, look at these signs. What is the instructions? What do you think? This international things. Uh huh. Mean match. Match cage. Think white. The correct meaning. Then from. Uh huh. Okay. Then compare with a partner. So we have. Uh, we have. No apply, no playing ball, wear a hard hats, swimming allow, drinking water, do not touch, fast and seat bell, um, no bicycles, uh, recyclable. What is number one? What it will be do number one? Touch. Do not touch. Thank you, Don Julio. Someone else. Number two. Number two, swimming, 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 swimming allowed, swimming. swimming allowed. Someone else, number three. Someone else. Wear hard, wear hard, hard. Uh -huh. hats. Wear hard hats. Uh -huh. And what is the other one? Number four. Recycle. Ah, recyclable. Uh huh. And what is number five? What is number five? Fasten seat belt. Fasten seat belt. That's you fasten your seat belt. Yes. And what is number six? No bicycle. No, no bicycles. Bicycle. What is number seven? Drinking water. Drink. Uh, Drinking water. Uh, uh huh. Uh, no, no bicycles. I put it there. I repeat it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Drinking water. Drinking water. And the last one? No playing ball. No playing ball. No playing ball. No play so these are some of the meanings of the recyclables that we have over there. 
And then you got the reading. Okay, so there is no time. It's only one minute. Let me stop the presentation. Okay, I was telling everybody, mañana vamos, ya les tengo unas hojitas de repaso de los siguientes temas para ayudarles con a trabajar en la plataforma y que tengan buen resultado. Entonces mañana vamos a trabajar eh, por lo menos el vocabulario y las partes gramaticales para poderles ayudar ahí, ¿ok? Que ustedes sepan que vale el siguiente tema. So, les espero en la clase, no lo vayan a perder y ya les tengo el documentito para que hagan eh, práctica. Only let me play. Así que es eh, enterado. Everything ok? Ok. 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 Por a favor, no perder la clase. Let me just pass attendance. And, uh, okay, uh, Abel Herminio Méndez Benavides. Present, mister. Ana Gabriela Alvarenga. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Aguirre. Present, teacher. Elsa Cecilia Carranza Rodríguez. Present. Emily de Los Ángeles Villatoro Argueta. Present. Glenda Elizabeth Antillón Orellana. Present, Mr. Jacqueline Lorena Campos Chávez. Julio. Present, teacher. Ok, Julio Antonio Orantes Herrera. Present, teacher. Carla Susena Abel Ángel López. Carla Susena. Uh, Catherine Andrés Sánchez Díaz. Crisia Elizabeth Portillo Chávez. Present. Luisa de Nilson Díaz Valle. Present. Marilyn Ruby Mulato Gaitán. Present. Marvin Rudy Mulato Gaitán. Present. Minor Alexander Avelar Avelar. Present, teacher. Miriam Janet Villalobos Segovia. Present. Nubia Beatriz Rivas Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Robert Adalberto García González. Present. Silvia Andrea Córdoba Sarabia. Present. Tatiana Michelle Pineda Gaitán. Present. Encenia Esmeralda Chávez Lozano. Present, teacher. Okay, so thank you very much. Please do not miss classes tomorrow, okay? I'll see you. Bye-bye. Nice. Good night. Have a great night. Bye.